Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if you're so first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon, or don't forget to hit the bell icon. It will be the only way that you'll be motivated or you'll be uh, up updated when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and supporting this channel. I'm still trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm still sharing with you my first day as a security guard in Qatar. Remember, for the first video, we talked about arriving at the airport and also my first day as a security guard at work, which was quite very interesting. For those people that watch that video, at least you can try to link up with the second video of this video, then you can know how the whole story ended. And this is the second video, or in this today's video, I want to, I want to share up my, my experience when it came to shopping and um, cooking for the requirements I had at that time. Remember, uh, most of the time when we are coming from our countries, uh, the agents will tell us a lot of story or they will tell you, they will definitely tell you selling stories because they need money or they need whatever they see. So they will tell us you should pack food, you should pack this, you should pack beans, you should pack posho, you should pack this, you should pack this and you should pack this, you know. So they told us all sorts of things and we packed. For those people that know the first time you come, you definitely know what you pack. You, you even end up packing matoki or you end up packing bananas. Uh, if you're coming from Kenya, you end up packing ugali, you end up uh, packing uh, omena, omena. But remember, to some, some, some time in the airport when they're very strict, they will definitely remove those items because they are unaccepted by the customer. But when you're so lucky enough, for those few items that get to stay inside, uh, a few items that definitely will stay inside your bag, you just have to accept it and allow and say, yes, God has allowed me to go this. Remember, for the first time you come, is that you're going to work for a full month without pay. Uh, but remember, what happened to us was a little bit very different and i think it also happens to companies here when you come for the first time they will give you an advance money uh, probably they will give you an advance money which is uh, almost around uh, 300 Qatarian, uh, depending on your exchange rate depending on your country and that will give you a startup for that money as you go through the month but remember when the month gets off when your full salary comes at the end of the month they will deduct that amount of money they owe to you that they gave you when you came and this is what the time uh, that uh, we 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 given that uh, to go and start so uh, what happens on uh, as continuous days came uh, we taken to office remember for us when we came the first day uh, we came like today three o'clock we are picked in the morning six we are picked uh, we came three o'clock we are picked we are taking accommodation the next day we reported duty because they needed extra people to to go and work in that duty location so we had no choice we had to go and uh, take up our duty without even induction without even anything remember some companies don't give induction at that time so let us go in the video we got about that we go in uh, what happened is when it came to what you call shopping and cooking remember we are called office and we are given 300 um, catering each of us that to do our shopping to make us upkeep at the, t at the time and good luckily enough uh, me I, I really had some food with me so I had some uh, some food I had some posho and I had some beans that I carried with like any struggle that could be like any uh, any person who is prepared to go in a, in a war you need to carry something that will get you up at least when you came to the airport they are not good out of my 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 my, my luggage i still had them so uh, some people went with that of course you needed to have something at that time uh, you needed to buy for yourself a shoe if you didn't have a black shoe uh, to start up your work if you didn't have a belt a belt you needed to buy for for this set of company you know, there are some companies at the start they will not give you that so this time as like what i had to do with the money is that i had to, to try to go shop something try to shop some little bit of food some little bit of uh, say uh, I looked at a sauce because I didn't have sauce at that time you don't cook beans because you're using gas and remember you also don't have what to cook in utensils uh, the first time you come the most hardest part is what we call the cooking utensils remember in some companies that you have to cook for yourself so when you have to cook for yourself then probably you need to have what you call cooking utensils 
and you need to buy, you need to buy those cooking utensils. So meaning that what they give you out of what they give you, the 300, uh, in case the company gives you, in case that company is not providing food and you want to provide food for yourself, then probably you have to go, you have to buy cooking utensils, uh, depending on how much and depending on the size that you want. But to remember, uh, the first time that you don't know exactly what it is and uh, this is where you go to a shopping mall or you go to any shop to buy and you see the prices of it all. So uh, what happened, it was like super, 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 super fun. I remember that time and you know, there's where sometime I had, I had, I had to, 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 to kind of uh, uh, act with myself and I was like, these guys are thieves, these guys are thieves. How? Uh, what happened exactly? When I went to the mall, uh, where I, you know, super, super big malls where you would see every item is inside, uh, every item is super inside that. It's fully stocked. Their malls are so big and fully stocked. So wherever you take your eye to another corner, you see something. Wherever you take your eye to another corner, you see something beautiful. But remember, the money you have is you have supposed to buy with the money with you have for the first intentions that will make you move through the month. So this is what happened. So I went with my friends who went to the mall uh, um, to buy cooking utensils. And the, the, all the prices depend on which kind of size of utensils you have, you have. And you may find that you may you may want to buy a smaller utensil, but it is highly priced compared to the big utensils that is going to that is going to accommodate like five people. That is what was challenging with, with me when I went to shopping. I was like, why are these people doing like this one? So I was like, I went to that shelf to those shelves where they had cooking pots or cooking utensils and I would look at the small utensils, they have bigger prices compared to the big one. I was like, what is guys are doing? I moved to the second shelf. There was another second shelf whereby they had a pack, it is a pack of five, a pack of three, uh, small, medium and big. Those are three packs of utensils, cooking utensils. But you find that these packs are more expensive than even the money you have. So what option do you have is to buy these single ones. Remember, this is a situation whereby you are living in a room, but you may not be living in a room where you're living with your friends from the same country. You are living with other nationalities coming from Nepal, Bangladesh, India, uh, from different nationalities. And each nationality have different favorites cuisines that they eat. So you will not wake up to add your cuisine with another person's cuisine. You definitely have to take care of yourself. That is where now probably uh, I normally tell people that you need to have what you call extra, uh, 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 you know, extra self skills that you need to have to make you survive. And exactly, if you get to watch in one more of my videos, I give some of those skills that you need to have when you come to the Gulf, which is quite very, very important for you to have because it was the only way need to survive. So I had to make sure that I divide the 300 I have to make sure I can buy a cooking utensil at that time that will never cook me. And remember, we are told by every time you go to beat, you're supposed to be smart. So I needed a flat iron. I needed, I needed. I needed food, I needed the ingredients. So what, what was so funny with me, I got my mobile. Remember as I was coming, I was like, well, the first thing you do is probably you need to check and I was like, what is the exchange rate? If I have 1,000, if I have 300 cattarial here uh, and you try to equate it to the exchange rate to your country, then you begin to say, now, I need to spend 200, I need to spend 150, I need to spend this one. So that was what happened. So I got a piece of paper and pen, I would write. After writing, I say, this one, this cooking pot is 100 cataria. So I'll convert 100 cataria to my country. And I was like, no, this is big, I'm not going by. I go to this. So I ended up being in a shopping mall for almost three hours. It was very funny <laughs> being in the shopping mall for three hours because I was trying to convert the prices back to my country to buy what I need. Just imagine, can you imagine if it is you, what would you do? If it is your first time, or if you remember your first time when you came to the Gulf country to work, it may be your, uh, any other job, and you had to look for cooking utensils or you had to look for grocery for yourself. What did you do? 
you remember whatever, any, any funny things that you did, it is what I did. So for three hours, I'm trying to convert everything I put in paper back to my country, then I see whether I can buy or not buy. I went to the ingredients. I look at the tomato, I was like, one kilo of tomato is at 80 real, 10 real. I was like, what is this one? I convert 10 real to my country. I'm like, I'm buying one kilo of tomato at 8,000. I was like, 8,000? It is no, not acceptable. And what is a kilo? You find a kilo has three tomatoes. I was like, ah, no, no. I'd rather look for some tomatoes that are cheaper. So in that course, you end up moving the whole mold or you end up being on the same shelf for a longer period of time because you are looking at small tomatoes that are going to make up a kilo so that you don't spend a lot. You go to kitchen, you go to chicken, you look for chicken and like, this bag is, this, this gram, 500 gram is 15 real. Uh, well, one kilo is 30, 30 real. Uh, two kilo is 50 real. You go to rice, this one kilo, five kilo, this kind of rice, it is 25 real. This kind of rice. So meaning that each item, each brand here in Qatar is sold a different amount of price. And what I need to let you know, if you are coming for the first time, or what was my experience at that time, I didn't know that everything is measured in kilo. Because in our country, we are not used to kilo. We are used to lap sum, where you go to the market and you buy a whole lot. You go to buy tomatoes, you are buying a whole lot of tomatoes. And that whole lot of tomatoes may be containing maybe uh, 50 tomatoes, and that is at one real. Or even less one than one real, and you have. But I didn't know that this time, uh, that what we we're supposed to buy, each of these we we're supposed to buy in kilo. And apart and other items, for example, rice and foods, uh, would be measured according to the brand and which country they are coming from. So it gave me a hard time. That's why I spent more hours in the mall. And remember, I have to go back to cook. So I took uh, 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 three hours trying to budget, trying to budget that money that I can still remain with some small bit of money for me to keep in my pocket in case of emergency. So I would calculate everything, I'll calculate. It was just fun for me because what reminded me, just reminded me about the school time where you need to calculate your daddies, where you need to calculate your, 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 your food that is given for you to finish up the term when you're in a boarding school, you know? So I was like, ah. By the time I got out of the shopping mall, I was super tired. And guess what? What I was carrying out of what I spent was just something that you'd lift up and do like this. That got me so much, much bitter. I was like, this is not acceptable. This is stealing me. I was like, in my life, I was like, now, something came in my life. I was like, now, I need to begin up. I need to change my strategy. I need to change my goals. I need to change myself. And that is why I say that the beginning of the change of the mind began from that experience, from that day. It gave me one, well, it gave me one lesson that you need to plan before you go to spend. You need to know that you should spend uh, little, you should, you should not spend more than what you earn. That was one lesson I learned. And uh, something else it, it showed me or it taught me a lesson that before you go to shop, visit a number of those nearby shops and try to try to compare the prices. You never know the neighbor may have a cheaper price and you go to buy in that space. And what something else came in uh, I go to learn is that uh, most of these shopping malls they do not, they, they sell the same price like they would sell to other people that have the money, especially the nationals or people who come to Spain like they have families and they have. But good thing that I found out in these malls that they do have offers where you find that you find a pack of soap, a pack comparing a pack that has uh, four or ten bars of soap and it's sold at uh, uh, maybe ten real or uh, uh, 3D and meaning that if you go to the promotion side, you can still access cheaper commodities or accept 
or uh, access or buy goods at a cheaper price and still more than that it just taught me a lesson that one way or the other that you can still when you go and you feel that uh, your money is not enough or what you want is not enough look at uh, look for smaller items that will make a kilo a little bit bigger that by the time you make a kilo uh, if it's got to be an onion and a kilo is four real or 3.5 cattle real with an onion what you do is that you look for the smaller pieces those one with the smaller onions that by the time it makes up a kilo at least you have uh, you have too many onions or you have too many bags of onions in the bag that can be a long to more in the pan. So it was quite challenging when it came to grocery, when it came to cooking food. Uh, cooking, remember, you have to cook for yourself. It was something else that was a little bit challenging. You know, most of us, most of the people do not want to learn how to, how to cook, especially in Africa. It's not mandatory that you have to learn how to cook because we can still access food cheaply, uh, maybe side roads, whatever you have to go and uh, so this was the start of the journey that you have to cook for yourself, you have to learn how to cook. Uh, remember, this side you are provided with what you call gas and gas cooks food very fast. And even you lighting the gas itself, it's also you need to eat, it is a skill that you need because you never know what will happen. Uh, you're not used to, to, to lighting gas and by the time you get light up the gas, you're hearing the smell, the smell coming out of the gas and the only thing that comes in your mind is that I'm going to be killed by gas. So you may, uh, if the first time you're flattened and you don't know, is that you may not end up cooking because every time you see gas, you like, they told us gas kills and when it kills you, everyone will perish up in ashes. So you like, you may not cook. And even the style of cooking, what you're going to put, what you're going to cook, measuring how much you're going to cook, what is your good, what is the time. So uh, it also became a little bit very hassle and, but good enough, as time moved on, as time ago, I went on, I learned how to cook myself and I had a little bit some skills from uh, my country, wherever I had to come from. Uh, I just thank the mom who used to beat me up. Remember, those times they would beat us and tell you today it's you cooking time and you would cry the whole night, the whole day because you don't want to cook. But remember, uh, back in the mind, our parents were telling us that someday you could face a challenge where you have to cook for yourself. And this is what exactly happens when you come to these Gulf countries that when when the company is not providing for you food, you have to cook for yourself. You have to have a utensil, you have to make sure you cook. That is if you have the extra money that you're not going to, to save and you're going to eat in a restaurant or you're going to pay up a monthly uh, fee to a given restaurant that will give you food every day. But remember, if you're a person that came to save and you have dreams that you're chasing, it's better you could learn how to cook for yourself and such that you can try to save the excess spending. And exactly that's what I did that I said, no, I need to cook for myself, whatever I do, or uh, cut myself with a knife, or uh, make sure I cook bad food, but I need to learn and I need to know how to cook and try to save the little bit of what I have for the time. And uh, good enough as time went off, uh, like after my probation period, uh, definitely I was a very good cook and uh, I'll, I'll even get to smile at myself and I like, yes, everything you have to learn by force and even the environment itself around you will have to enable you to learn and do. So most of the time in the Gulf countries here, you learn definitely the things that you go to learn and you may learn them uh, accidentally or you may learn them because of the nature of the life that you're living in, but remember, it's after some time they're going to help you and you're going to see that really it was it was worth it uh, it was worth for you to learn that kind of activity at that time so uh, very important uh, thank you so much for, for uh, coming back to this channel i hope i've tried to share my my life experience and that was really uh, very very important for the time and it was really very good so uh, if you like to visit your, uh, this video, please give it up a thumbs up and uh, to make me more and more motivated to make more con uh, content. Uh, if you feel the video is very important, just share it with a friend. The person is planning to come to this kind of country to know that most of the things, these things are real and uh, this is exactly what you need to go through. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting Next. Next from the next question.